So let us first discuss the change in method of depreciation. <clears throat> change in method of depreciation. Strictly speaking, we need to be consistent. Our principle of consistency says, does not allow us to change from one method to another. A change in the method of computing depreciation is a change in accounting policy. If we do not consistently stick to one method, then the results for different years will not be comparable. So we are expected to be consistent and we are not supposed actually to change the method of depreciation. However, we may change under three circumstances. We could change the method of depreciation. We could move from straight line method to written down value or vice versa. If it is required by law, statutorily it is required, we need to change the method of depreciation. If it is required by any other accounting standard, some new provision in an accounting standard or new accounting standard in order to be in compliance with such any such new regulations, if we need to change the method of depreciation, we can go ahead and do so. Or if we think that it will result in a better presentation of the financial statements. So these are the three circumstances under which we can go ahead and change the method of depreciation. What do we do when we change the method of depreciation? The effect is supposed to be with retrospective effect. Effect from the effect from day one. Let us take an example. Suppose we were following the straight line method of depreciation at a rate of 15%. The depreciable amount, let us say, is 1 lakh. So under the straight line method, we would have charged a depreciation, let us say cost is 1 lakh, we would have charged depreciation of 15,000. This has a balance of 85,000. And again, we would charge another 15,000 and therefore we would have a balance of 70,000. Say after two years, we want to change the method of depreciation to the written down value of depreciation and a rate of 20%. In this case, the cost or the, to the cost of the machinery was 1 lakh, 20% would be 20,000, 80,000 is the written down value, 20% of 80,000 would be 16,000 and therefore we would have 64,000 as the written down value of the asset. Suppose it has been said that after two years of following the straight line method, after two years of following the straight line method, the method is now going to be changed from straight line method to written down value method. If we had followed the written down value method from year one, then the book value of our asset would have been 64,000. But right now, since we followed the straight line method, it is only 70,000. It is 70,000. 6,000 more than 64,000. So this extra 6,000 has to be charged to the books. We have to bring down the value of the asset to 64,000. It has to be with retrospective effect has to be given. So, in order to reduce the value of the asset, we say profit and loss account debit. With the passing of this entry, the value of the asset will come down by 6,000 from 70,000 to 64,000. Therefore, a change in method is not 
appreciated is not desirable since we should follow the since we should be consistent in applying accounting policies however we may change only if it is required by law if it is required by another accounting standard or it would result in a better presentation of our financial statements if we change the effect of this change has to be with retrospective effect that is from year 1 so we need to recompute and find out what the value of our asset would be applying the new method the difference which would arise would have to be adjusted through the profit and loss account let us consider an example suppose the cost of machinery is 60000 and depreciation was charged on straight line method at 15% in the third year they decided to change the method and adopt written down value method at 20% calculate the excess depreciation to be charged or written back to profit or loss account So the cost of our machinery is sixty thousand. Depreciation was charged on straight line basis at fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of sixty thousand was nine thousand each year. After two years, nine thousand, nine thousand. The total depreciation charged would be eighteen thousand, and written down value of the machinery. Would be sixty thousand minus eighteen thousand, giving us forty-two thousand. This is the written down value under straight line method. If we change now, we adopt the written down value method at twenty percent. What would be the effect? What would be the value of the machinery today? Book value of the machinery today. Had we adopted written down value method at 20% from day 1 machinery value is 60000 20% would be 12000 in the first year giving us a balance of 48000 next we would have depreciation of 20% on 48000 9600 and therefore the balance would be Thirty-eight thousand four hundred. This is written down value under written down value under written down value method. Written down value under the written down value method. Since the asset is forty-two thousand, and now we need to bring it down to thirty-eight thousand four hundred, there is a difference of. Three thousand six hundred. This difference would be taken to profit and loss account. What would be the entry? We need to reduce the value of the asset. Therefore, we credit the asset, debit profit and loss account, credit asset account by the amount of three thousand six hundred. In this way, the effect of the change is recorded. when we change the method of depreciation mind you it is a change in accounting policy and the fact that there has been a change in accounting policy should be disclosed the effect of such change would also be disclosed let us take one more exercise cost of the machinery is 60000 depreciation was charged on straight line method at 20% In the second year they decided to change the method and adopt written down value method at 20%. If the machine was sold for 30000 at the end of the third year calculate the amount of loss on the sale of machinery. So cost of the machinery is 60000 depreciation on straight line method at 20%. Now under straight line method and written down value method in this example the rate is continues to be 20% and the change was effected in the second year itself therefore whether they followed the straight line method or followed the written down value method the amount of depreciation would be the same 12000 under both methods so there is no 
change as such in the book value of the asset at the end of the first year. In the second year, they change the method, adopt the written down value at 20% and the machine is then sold for 30,000 at the end of year 3. So under written down value method, original cost was 60,000 less 12,000, we have a book value of 48,000. This is year 1 depreciation, year 2 again 20%, so we have 9,600 depreciation giving us a balance of 38,400. This is year 2 depreciation. Year 3, again we have another 20% depreciation that is 20% of 38,400 Should be seven six eight zero seven six eight zero is the amount of depreciation giving us a balance of thirty thousand seven twenty is the written down value of the machine at the end of year three. Now the machine is sold for 30,000. 30,720 is the book value sold for 30,000. Therefore, there is a loss of 720. The correct answer should be 